Today, we're talking about staying young. Welcome back to another episode of Theology Thursday. So you may be wondering why I am sitting in a uh, children's playground. Well, I've been thinking about uh, kind of the season we're in right now and thinking about how often teenagers want to grow up as fast as they can. And especially right now, you know, being stuck in isolation, being stuck in situations where you can't control things. You want to be adults, you want to have jobs, and you want to earn money, and you want to be independent and on your own. And while that's great and it's awesome, the truth is it's not all that it's cracked up to be. You know, I think about uh, Christmas, and I've thought about this a lot over the past, I don't know, maybe 10 years, and how when you become an adult, all of a sudden, your Christmas gifts and birthday gifts kind of become boring. I mean, at times they can be fun, but getting a, a set of pot and pans for, for your birthday when there's a brand new cell phone that you want, or maybe there's a new video game or some part for your car, you're not really excited about getting those pots and pans. Well, at least until you start cooking. And it's funny, when you look at, at the way that Scripture talks about it, specifically the way Jesus talks about having faith, He actually talks about having faith like a kid. That going back to a time where things were simpler, where the stress was only as far as you could see. And being a Christian, especially growing up, being a Christian can be incredibly difficult and stressful. As you get older and as you start to experience more of what life has to offer, all of a sudden life becomes more gray, more complicated. It's not as easy as sitting on Santa's lap and asking for your favorite toy or blowing out the candles on your birthday cake, making a wish your life becomes infinitely more complicated and your relationship with God becomes infinitely more complicated. The reason why Jesus talks about having childlike faith is because when you're a child, you're dependent on your parents. You're dependent on them to provide for you, to give you a home, food in your stomach, clothes on your back, guidance on how to live life, proper decisions to make when you find yourself in compromising situations. As adults, you don't have that opportunity. Everything is on you. Your life is on your shoulders. You can't go running to mom and dad and crying and asking for help and assistance because they can't save you. But God can. And I think that's why Jesus talks about having childlike faith. But as we become adults, we lose that sense of dependency. We lose that sense of right and wrong, morality, black and white. We begin to make justifications for our lives and for our actions and for the things that we do. Things aren't simple anymore. Things are complex and difficult and challenging. And Jesus expects us to reach out to God when we're struggling. When we're finding ourselves stuck indoors 24-7 and we can't go out or we can't hang out with our friends or, or we just can't go to the store. Things are infinitely more complicated. And from your perspective, at times it can seem almost annoying. Why is it that your, your friends can go outside and go to the lake and get on their boats and get on their jet skis and, and hang out with their friends, but yet you're stuck indoors? Maybe you might get, get an exception and mom or dad will let you have one friend over at your house, but they have to wear a mask. You gotta be socially distanced, stay six feet apart. That can be incredibly frustrating 
But the truth is, your parents' job is to protect you. Your parents' job is to love you and to nurture you and to provide you a future. Well, they're not doing that if they're putting you at harm's way. And as you get older, you're going to be confronted with these complications. You're going to get confronted with these situations where do you go to work and risk your life, risk your health, even if you think you won't catch it? Or do you risk getting kicked out of your, your apartments, losing your car, having to go back home and live with mom and dad? These are the decisions that your parents have to make. And these are decisions that Jesus wants us to rely on God to make. Whatever it is that you're going through, whether it's isolation or maybe you're missing your friends or maybe you just don't understand why your parents are making the decisions that they're making, you need to go to God with it. Seek, seek his advice. Seek his guidance, seek his wisdom because all he cares about is keeping you safe. You look at Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. It's the greatest set of verses all about God wanting us to have a future. It's all about God wanting us to be happy, to be successful, to be safe. So we need to have childlike faith right now. We need to enjoy every single moment as they come. To not sit here and look at social media and compare our lives to someone else and wish that we could live their life. But to live the life that God is calling you to live. Not what he's calling me to live or your friends to live, but you. Because the path that God wants you to go down is very different than the path that he wants your brother or sister to go down or your friends, your boyfriend or your girlfriend. God has a very unique plan for you and it takes childlike faith. It takes that dependence on God to trust that his will is going to happen in your life. And I can't promise much in, in this world, but what I can promise is that God always comes through. He makes a promise. He lives up to that promise. And God loves you. He loves me and he loves all of us. Even in this very difficult time, he loves us. And he's trying to use this time to reach you. He's trying to use this time to reconnect to you and, and to reestablish a relationship with you. So maybe you need to reach out to God. Maybe you need to reestablish that relationship with God and Stop trying to be independent. Stop trying to grow up so fast. Continue to be teenagers. Continue to be kids. Live out these days and enjoy every moment that you have. Be dependent on God. Because that's the only way that you're going to get through this. It's the only way you're going to find joy. Because while this may seem like a very unique time, the truth is this isn't unique. This has happened before and it will happen again. Maybe not in the same exact way, but we will go through a difficult time and a difficult season like this again. You will go through a difficult time and a difficult season. And the only one who can get, get you through it is God. Guys, if, if you have loved this content, smash that like button for me. It helps us to grow. It helps YouTube to push this out. Go ahead, hit that little subscribe button down below tick the little bell icon so that you're notified when we upload a video or when we go live. Even though we're still in person for Wednesday Night Youth Group, we're live streaming it because not everybody can come out. Some parents just aren't ready yet. They're not comfortable with you guys coming into a social gathering. And this is the best way to stay connected to the church and to your brothers and sisters and to your friends. And also, I really would like to know where you're at. Go down in the comments and, and share with me what you're struggling with. Let's have a dialogue. Let's connect. Share with everyone on YouTube what you're struggling with and, and see how God is going to use other people to reach you. Guys, I love you very much. For those of you who haven't seen yet, I miss you. 
I hope to see you next week for Youth Group. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.